Okay, and from those amazing 10 questions we seem to have zoomed through, that was quite incredibly fast. It's, I always think that these episodes are going to, these questions are going to trail on to take forever, but when you think about it, it took about seven minutes. So, anyway, cracking on with that. Uh, let's go to Samlock, who's uh, got four questions. Uh, two of them are to Sonic. Here are the, here's the first one. Uh, do you plan on teaming up with anyone to win the tag team titles again? And if so, who? Uh, his reply is, tag team? Tag team! Yeah, why did I not think of that in the first place? A tag team! But, after ASIF, I'll be world champion. I spit on the tag team idea. And, with all due respect to anyone there, um, obviously he won't be able to go after the tag titles, even if he did make a tag team, because... They're on Smashdown. They're a Smashdown exclusive uh, championship. So you won't see them on Raw, where Sonic is located. But uh, he still spits on the tag team idea, it seems. Uh, next question to Sonic from him is, what are your feelings about Tails now? <laughs> his views are, uh, he's off in his own little happy anti-hero world. And bless him for trying to be me. The problem is, I don't need help to get what I want. So sorry, Miles, but you'll never be an undisputed champion like me. He had to fit in that undisputed championship bit. Always. I, uh, even though he he didn't get a word in there from uh, the last question when he could have. I swear he could have. But, hey, he doesn't get away with an ask the, uh, ask the roster without saying something about being undisputed champion. So... He's struck again on this one. <laughs> uh, next question is for Knuckles. Are you looking forward to ASIF and why? Uh, his reply is, I am. ASIF has always been the ultimate proving ground. Showing the fans that you can prevail no matter what gets thrown at you. Uh, you can vote for what you like because all I say is bring it on. I made a little spelling mistake there. Oh, never mind. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> uh, final question from him is uh, to Bart. Uh, and nice big camera letters to kick us off with. I won't go into a yelling voice. But uh, what did you do? Why, Bart? Why? You betrayed your sister and let Tails win. And most of all, betrayed the chairman. What's wrong with you? Yeah, what is wrong with him? I'm curious. He replies with, what's wrong with me? And then he proceeds to laugh, and then he stops and says, Oh, absolutely nothing at all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then, we'll believe that. Not. Uh, our next, uh, per, uh, and, uh, we've only got one question from the next person, but this person is rather interesting because it's our, our very own personal ring announcer. Uh, and she says, uh, for Void... Void, did you know Kana Zakua, our very own general manager, uh, a co-general manager of Raw, sorry, <laughs> has a crush on you? By the way, I don't mean a small one. I mean a big-time crush. Uh, Void replies with, if that's what he, she desires, I aim to please. There is nothing wrong with having a loyal being in your presence to make you look more complete. Well, that's fair enough, that is. I guess he's all up for the female in the corner, but he would probably just think of it as being someone at ringside. He wouldn't be considered with love or anything. At least that's my assumption, but I don't know Void. He's very unpredictable with his the way he thinks and his brain and stuff. Well, at least we got... He knows... I think I can read his mind when it comes to the tag team titles, and that's keep them. <laughs> but... uh the question is, can he? But we'll see. But there you go. We've got a little secret crush going on. Uh, so this this is what it's like when worlds collide. <laughs> okay, the next uh, five questions, our final five, are from uh, Kanina Kana. Uh, she asks, uh, first to Shadow, uh, what sort of things do you do when you're training with Kana? I asked I asked her that, but you're the coach, not her. So I want to know what you do to train her and teach uh, teach her how to be a better wrestler. You don't have to uh, say exactly, but just give us an idea of maybe a normal day's training, as long as uh, how long it is normally, etc., etc., etc. 
Uh, he replies with, we spend a few hours together. I teach her different ways of countering, uh, improve on her ring presence, and work on stamina and speed. She may be good at that already, but I do it, uh, but I, uh, but to be an expert, there's always room for improvement. Well, that's one hell of a coach for you. If anyone needs uh, training with Shadow, then it looks like he'll push you to the brink of insanity and then some uh, to uh, get you in top shape. That's if he's, if he's willing to train you. I mean, that's pretty dodgy. I mean, I don't fancy walking up to him and saying, Shadow, can you teach me? Give me a glare or something. I'm like, okay, I'll back off. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm babbling, aren't I? I'll shut up. Uh, I'll move on to the next question for Aki. Uh, Aki, what are your thoughts exactly about Dr. Eggman's hate for you and his want to rid you of the ASF for good? Uh, his reply is, I think he's even given up on me to tell the truth. He's more worried about his girlfriend getting a title. But hey, if people want to vote for me as well uh, to that ASIF match, I might just become the center of his attention again. And I don't mind that at all. That was a Bloody good reply, and may sway the voting there, even, uh, if you want to. Aki doesn't mind being the centre of attention for Eggman again, and I was personally liking that rivalry, <laughs> so uh, I think I still am. It's kind of still lingering inside Eggman, but I think now that the time has come for the uh, so-called uh, the big night for Mandy, his Eggman keeps proclaiming to me, uh, then he'll be more focused towards that, so let Aki be the centre of attention again. <laughs> Uh, I would vote for that. <laughs> but uh, will you? That's all up to you. I don't care. <laughs> uh, another question for Aki. Uh, also, Aki, if you had to, or even if you didn't have to, or you simply could, would you team up with Kano to try to take out Eggman and, and Mandy? Uh, he replies with, if I become a problem with Dr. Yoke Man again, I'll think about it. Cool. We got another nickname for him. We got uh, Carter with Mr. Man Doctor Egg, and now we got uh, we've got um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Uh, don't know why. I'm just looking at text. Uh, <laughs> next question is to Mandy. Uh, Mandy, why do you enjoy being with Eggman? Why do you like him as a, your manager? Why the change? Just to say personally, I think you were better before he took you under his wing. I didn't know Eggman had any wings. Anyway, her reply is, uh, the doctor is my key to winning what winners have. And seeing as I'm a winner, then I need that world championship. And after ASIF, I will be a champion. Well, that's if the fans don't vote for you. When Amber, she's got less of a chance of getting that title if the fans vote for her. And then she's got to actually win it rather than cashing it in straight after the match and saying, I'm world champion. Because you know it's going to happen if it comes to that. So we'll just have to see. Uh, and our final question to round the night up with this episode is, uh, Bart, a simple one for you. This goes back a while. But how exactly did you say you, could, uh, you couldn't go to the show because you were doing homework? Uh, what's your real re what was your real reason? I want to hear your words on why. Um, and he simply explains uh, personal reasons. That's why I now showed. Which was a bit of a shame. He had to take some time off uh, back then. I would have, uh, obviously I felt more guilty for him, but... Uh, because he was the he just won the championship at that time, so in all uh, secrecy, that's why he actually lost it. No way out, because I didn't know if they were going to arise again, you know. And now here we are. <laughs> so uh, there's a little bit of breaking the fourth wall and whatever. So I'm glad I got that in for the end, last part of the show. But I guess we'll call it a day for now. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, we hope to get Smash Down up and running soon. Uh, sometime this week, or, or even next weekend, uh, most likely next weekend, but uh, it should be good, and I'll look forward to seeing you lot there, and by the way, if you do have a question you want to ask anyone on the roster, uh, then head on over to the ASF forum, uh, sign up, and then you can ask away, and then your questions will appear on the show as well, and you'll get to see the characters' responses and replies. 
and uh, I'll close the show off with that. Uh, you'll find a link to the forum, by the way, in the description. So just check that out and see what you make of it. And uh, yes, I will see you uh, on the weekend. I'm estimating the weekend. So let's just say the weekend. I will see you then. Goodbye.